Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Prices on the EAFC24 market just continue to rise and it's all leaving us with one common question in our minds. Do we need to sell or can we still hold a lot of these cards that we have bought at either investments for our teams or investments just purely to make coins on as we know the market was going to appreciate so much over this last couple of days as it has. I want to break it down for you guys today because I think today, tomorrow, Thursday are very important days for the market as we head into a new promo. And yes, the Nike promo is going to be ending. New players with the full worldwide release of FC24 are going to be coming on this game, which could mean really good things for the market. But could there be a bit of a dip before then? We'll talk about that in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, let's quickly go over yesterday's content, as we always do. There's not much to go over, guys, so this will definitely be quick. First of all, we got a 78 plus SBC. We kind of called the rating on this one. But what I was not expecting was that EA would only let us do it four times per day. They're really wanting to limit how many of these upgrade packs we can do. I was hoping that we could just, you know, unlimited or repeatable, like upgrade SBCs almost always are. But instead, we can only do it four times a day. It'll come back today. The requirements are eight gold cards, which is, it just kind of is what it is. I don't feel like that's great. I feel like it's just mid and the pack weight from those, albeit I did get a good pull yesterday. I got 84 rated Luis Diaz that went straight into my team from one of those upgrades. Um, it just feels like that SBC is just kind of, I don't know, it feels very disappointing, right? I also packed Osaman yesterday. Quick little team update, squad update for you guys that are watching. I put in Ake. He's a beast. I bought Zambo and Guisa, only tradable card in the team. Team's fun, right? Using the VVD to get the uh, objectives done right now. And then uh, Coman Nunez joining themselves on the bench here with Kelly and Cascarino. A very good set of super subs there. Also, Trent in the midfield is really good. But I digress. Those 78 plus packs... They're not it, man. I'm going to do them just because, you know, it's an upgrade pack and it's fun to do and it's fun to try, but they really do not seem that good to me, guys. And if you don't have a lot of stuff in your club, it's maybe a skip, right? I know upgrade packs, we love them, but they might be a skip just because of how, you know, eight players it takes to put in and the pack way is not that amazing. Now, we also got some new objectives yesterday, the Swoosh Classics, which I actually just completed a little bit of. And inside of this, you get some Icon Loans, which is actually kind of nice. I mean... I'm going to be tired of seeing a lone Dino subbed on in the first weekend league, which looks like it's going to be this upcoming weekend. Uh, this card's going to be everywhere. But EA basically just gave out Icon Henri, Dino, Skulls, and Roberto Carlos yesterday through this Swoosh Classics mode, which is pretty easy to get done just as you normally play games with your team if you have players from the certain nationalities in it. I'm not really stressing to get everything done except for the XP. Make sure you get the XP done, of course. Uh, the Lone Dino would be kind of nice, though. It's only out for a couple of days, so you kind of have to you kind of have to get it done uh, pretty soon if you do want to get it done. And then also we're working on the Mad Ready objectives as well, which we just got a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. All right, nothing too crazy there. But yeah, guys, yesterday's content was really quiet. Of course, the packs did refresh in the store. Nothing really crazy that was new in the store, but, you know, your 25K and whatever packs. We got an 80-plus double. Let's open these really quickly. Uh, one thing I did notice in the store yesterday as well was EA actually updated, like, the pack skin or the pack outline um, of some of the, the 175K pack and also the... 275k pack i don't know what that was about it was very like green and dark before and now it's like very like gray white and light so it's the exact same packs that were there ea just made them look different so i'm not really sure what's going on with that but it is what it is we'll open these does that a kaylor navas oh we will take a cheeky kaylor navas back at psg 85 rated this year and i'll take that fodder Ooh, wahi there you go i think that's a card that some people are evolving there we go we will take that one i got a loan pack as well and we'll quick sell that player. One more pack for the boys really quickly before we start talking about the market. Premium gold pack. Can we get anything here? My pack looks been kind of decent over these last two days. Is that Patrick Schick? Oh, an 83 rated out of a premium gold pack? You take those. You absolutely take those. That's actually a really solid pack for the low quality pack that it was. 
I digress again. Let us get into the market conversation because this is where it's getting interesting. Now, I've got a lot of cards on my transfer list. I am trading, investing, flipping a lot of cards at the moment. Yesterday was an absolutely insane time to be flipping cards specifically because the content was not that good, guys. And since we only got one SBC and one objective, this market movement that happened yesterday, as we take a look at a couple of these cards, specifically, I want to look at Rolfo. This market movement is one that I want you to remember because it is one of the easiest ways to make coins on days where there is not a lot of content throughout the entire rest of this year. It happens a lot. Now, over the past couple of days, we've been talking about selling your cards, heading into the content drop because we get supply every day. And a lot of people have been doing that. Now, yesterday, I think people were expecting something massive. For whatever reason, uh, Rolfo was 83,000 coins in the early hours yesterday on Monday. And she went all the way back down to literally 68K at the content drop or about 30 minutes before the content drop. She went down to 68K. I was on stream. I think I bought three or four Rolfos at about 68 to 70,000 coins. She went skyrocketing back up as the content was not good, right? All we had was the objective and the SBCs four times for the upgrade. So we, people were like, ah, oh, this content's not good. So people went right back out to the market. Investors went to buy these cards that were down. And people that just wanted to play the game as well, alongside of those investors, that wanted to just use the cards in game. Also went out to the market and bought those cards. Prices went skyrocketing back up. Now, some of them came back down after that. Like, Rolfo went up to 80K. Actually, like, 82, 83,000 coins is where I sold a couple Rolfos there. And now she went back down and is kind of moving back up a little bit, but still low-ish, right, for, for where her price was um, earlier in that day. But the reason I'm talking about this extensively, guys, is this is a market movement and a way that you can trade um, so many times throughout the year. Not always is it with gold cards, but you'll see this where cards get low around content like Kunde was 187. He went down to 162 and boom, what is he right back up to now? 184, 186 with a couple of undercuts just in there. So prices have recovered on most cards pretty well from uh, from where those drops were at content because people were expecting stuff. Uh, Diani went to 190 from being 170 all the way to 190 back down to 176 and then is now, you know, back into the 180s. So not a full, you know, recovery for Diani, but for a lot of cards, that was the movement yesterday. Prices dropped and then prices exploded later on because the content was not that good. Remember that because that's going to be a really good way to trade. Now, oftentimes you have to buy the cards about 20, 30, 40 minutes before content. You can maybe wait until the actual content drop itself, but um, a lot of times by then, people who are willing to take the risk and say, I don't think there's going to be good content today. I'm going to buy the card before the content drop. They will be the ones that will get the best and lowest price because they're assuming a little bit more risk. So you can wait for the content drop. And if it's bad, then go out and buy a couple things that you think will rebound. But that's just something I wanted to point out because that's going to happen a lot throughout this year. And I was able to make some coins and us that were in the stream were able to make some coins because of that. Now, the big question on hand, right? And we saw some, just as we looked at with Rolfo and, you know, even some of the just most meta players and players that people are just buying right now in this game, which does include a lot of the women's cards. You see these prices that are spiking so much just because there's so much hype around these um, women's items in the game because they're just, it's, it's, we're finding that they're really meta, especially in certain areas of the pitch. Um, guys, are our prices on this market reaching a peak are we reaching a point where prices are kind of at their top range for right now for the next week or two or three and that's a really tough uh, question to answer with like a one sentence answer because there are so many factors for so many different cards throughout this entire game but what i want to do is try to give it a best sh my best shot at answering this question for a lot of you guys because so many of you are wondering nate I have Neymar, right? I bought Neymar on Saturday for 250K and he's 400,000 coins. Do I keep him or do I sell him? Or some of you guys are also asking like, Nate, I just packed um, Oshawala who's exploded in price in these past couple of days and I'm not going to use her in my team, but should I wait to sell her because is her price going to go up more? You know, I feel like there's a lot of different answers and it kind of just has to be, it's really a decision that you have to make. Honestly, when we look at a lot of these cards, 
it is a decision that you have to make personally because you know your ultimate team you know what you've got in it you know what players you've got you know how many coins you have got to reset the game because the market and the menus just glitched to me again so let's load back into fc24 um but it's really a personal question now let's talk about this cards that i would keep right now a lot of those top tier meta cards like i just mentioned neymar right neymar is a card that i would 100 percent i think hold on to because number one Vinny, who is another brazilian left wing that is in his position i know vinny has got the better links because he's in real madrid and, and neymar's in saudi but Vinny's like one point what one million coins and neymar's 400k that's a big price difference between those two guys i still think neymar has room to rise as one of the most top tier elite meta players on this game as he always is i still think players like rafael leao I still think players like hyunmin son and other players that honestly seem a little cheap to me like and Kunku still, like, there's some cards in the market, guys, that still, to me, seem a little undervalued. Um, now, there's some that also seem a bit overvalued, like that Vinny card. I think Vinny shouldn't be that expensive. I don't even think Mbappe should be as expensive as he is. He's 3.3 mil for Mbappe. Like, we're still in an early stage of the market where, yes, not everybody's on the game yet. And, yes, also, maybe not all the supply has hit the game yet because we've had a lot of people open FIFA points um, that have been on the game, but there's going to be a whole lot more that are getting on the game this weekend and into uh, the next week that are going to be opening FIFA points and opening packs. Now, it's tough to decipher who is really overpriced and who is really underpriced. We're just using our best guesses here, but there's some players on both sides of that coin. Now, for a lot of these top tier meta cards that are kind of the best in their position for their league, guys that we've been saying to keep and to hold on to, I think a lot of those guys are still a hold for most of you guys, unless you're packing a card. If I pack a card tradable with, uh, yeah, with coins, I almost always take the coins unless it's a really big player that goes straight into my team that I don't plan on selling for a long time. I like, I just like to have the coins and I run a mostly an untradable team anyways. But for a lot of you guys, I know your position. You bought these guys when they were a lot cheaper, right? You bought Usman when he was 200 K now he's 300,000 coins. So in that case, um, would I be holding? Yeah, I think I would, especially if it's a card that is in your squad and in your team. It's all about the balance, right? We're all playing rivals right now. Or we're grinding to get rewards, to get qualified for the weekend league if possible, right? Because it says still in here that weekend league is going to happen this Friday. Now, it would be the earliest weekend league ever. Watch this date right here. Champs finals available in three days, three hours. Watch that very closely. If that changes, that'll change a little bit for the market as well with how much demand we have this weekend on this game. Uh, but there's still a lot of demand for gameplay, guys. And there's still a lot of cards that I think are going to appreciate in value, which is mean meaning why I would say hold for a lot of those top tier, still very meta cards. Now, our price is just going to continue to go straight up like they have been for the next three to four days in this game. I don't think I can say yes to that. I think there will be actually be a few prices that drop off in the, in the coming days. Like from now until Friday, some people are going to see how high the market is and they might start to sell a few cards. And the reasoning for that is we do have a road to the knockouts promo that is coming this Friday. And that means live cards. That means a lot of excitement, a lot of hype. And yes, of course, it also is the worldwide release. There's going to be a lot of new people coming on opening FIFA points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Road to the knockouts is a big promo every year because it has live cards and because the Champions League is like the biggest competition that people get excited for. So I think there actually will be some prices that maybe hit their peak for this week. Maybe today, maybe it was yesterday, maybe it's tomorrow and Wednesday, and then maybe Wednesday, Thursday, at some point later on as we get towards this promo Friday, I actually think we could see a few prices dip. And what I mean by that is like, let's say Osman is like, what, 66K right now. Um, and let's say he goes to like 70, maybe 75K at some point this week. And then his price starts to dip a little bit. Like when I'm talking to dip, I'm talking like nowhere even close to where these cards were before they started to spike in value. Like if you got in early on Diani, you're buying a card that was 100,000 coins or low 100K range or less. And now she's 180K. Like she's probably not going to go back below like 150 or 160. Like that's 
that kind of dip is what I'm saying, like a small 5% dip max for a lot of these cards, maybe 10% max. It's going to depend on the card, obviously, but that's the top tier meta, right? We're talking guys like um, Kavicha, Rashford, the Neymar, the Messi, KDB, um, Militao, Rudiger, all of your cards that are really meta expensive, high rated, that a lot of people don't have in their teams right now that they will still be looking to upgrade for into next week. I think those are still holds because a lot of you are making coins on them anyway and their prices still could go up further next week after we get more coins and more people on the game that'll be wanting to buy those cards. Maybe this week there's a slight dip, but I think overall those are a hold because their prices are gonna keep going up. Now, that's a lot of cards that you would wanna keep. Let's talk about cards you wanna sell. We use this guy as an example during the early stage of the game because we knew that this was gonna happen, but it's Mickey Vandeman, guys, a starter card at best. Yes, he's a good center back. I'm sure he's great in game. You know what? I don't even know. I haven't even packed this guy. Like, I'm kind of surprised. Maybe he is kind of rare, but he's 78 rated, so he can't be that rare. Guys, watch out for Vandeven because this is a card, like we've mentioned, that is a sell, right? His price isn't one that's gone up a ton since he first came out. His price has been pretty steady, actually, right around 17, 18, 19,000 coins, just because this is a card that a lot of people are putting into their starter teams. And I think that after a lot more people get on the game this weekend and people open more packs, more coins are going to be on the market. People are going to forget about a guy like Van de Vin, and they're going to be going and upgrading to a guy like a Rafael Leao, or maybe they're going to be able to afford a Virgil van Dyke with the coins that they have. So a card like that Van de Vin is definitely going to fall off in value a considerable amount in the next week. And I want you to be ahead of the curve. That's a card that I would sell. That's a benefit to opening packs right now in this game as well. If you're opening packs at all during this weekend, or if you've taken tradable rewards from rivals, which we'll talk about rivals rewards definitely a bit more in the coming days, uh, taking those tradable rewards right now still pays out or even opening FIFA point packs right now still pays out because cards like Gavardiol that 29, 30,000 coins, he's probably not going to stay too much more than 30K for the next two or three weeks after this, he's going to start to trickle down in value. Cards like the Van de Vin that we just mentioned, you know, even cards like Renato, such a hype card, but how much is he? 14K guys, like Renato's actually just gone down since he's been in packs. He started at 20K and now he's 14,000 coins. That's a card I would sell as well, just because he's going to get passed up on. Alan St. Maximin, 20,000 coins as well. He's up a little bit, but, you know, not as great of links. Yes, still a lot of hype because it's ASM, but just be careful with those types of cards. Those are the ones that I would still put in the sell bucket because they're going to be dropping off here soon. Now, a couple more cards that I would keep, hold on to. You know, guys, I'll say a little bit of a differentiation here as well. I wouldn't really right now say now is a great time to invest either. I know that some cards are really going up a lot, like the heroes and the icons specifically are just flying on this game. And that's because we've got coins in this game and people are putting those coins into these cards that are probably worth more than what they have been in the last couple of days on this market. But I'm not looking at a lot of these cards and saying, you gotta go buy them because they're still too cheap. Nah, that's not how I feel for most of them. A couple of them I do feel like are still a little bit undervalued, but these are more so of a hold. And if you want to invest in a, in a hero or an icon or any of these gold cards that we're still talking about and you haven't bought yet, I would probably say watch the market this weekend because yes, there's going to be a lot of people that are getting onto the game. There's also going to be a lot of packs open at the exact same time. And that's going to bring in some supply. So these heroes are going to get supplied. Icons are going to get supplied from promo packs this upcoming weekend. Um, so that's where I would be watching. If you want to buy one of these cards, keep an eye on Friday specifically, and maybe even the panic selling as we head into Friday, if there is any uh, for a buying opportunity on cards of this nature or even those top tier gold cards that we're kind of shouting out and mentioning as well. Um, like, you know, the Mbappe, the Vinny Jr., stuff like that, if you want to buy one of those for your team. So that's kind of what I'm talking about right now with the market is I expect to see some dips, right? And it may not be Wednesday. It may just be Friday morning before the new promo. If we get a loading screen on Wednesday, that could cause a little bit of a dip in price as well. But again, let me reinforce the fact that like I'm not worrying about it at all. I still have, um, I mean, honestly, I don't know how many coins I have at the moment, but I have a lot of investments. I've got still a lot of Guru Retins. I'm doing some lazy listings with a bunch of different meta cards. Uh, I still have Cascarinos that I invested in. I still have, uh, I think I still even one have a Rolfo. I bought a couple Ronaldos 
just like an hour ago because I feel like he's undervalued with his power shot play style that is actually so overpowered. Uh, he's a card that hasn't gone up that much. I think he could still rise a bit more today. That sort of thing. I'm still invested. I'm still trading. I just think that you may not see the market continue to skyrocket every single day starting today, maybe even tomorrow through the rest of this week because of what is coming ahead. And maybe some people will start to know that and say, you know what? I think it's just time for me to take some of the coins and the cards that I bought. But that's a decision that's kind of completely up to you. So you kind of have to make it on your own. What do you value the most? Having the card in your team that could maybe get you some better uh, outcomes in division rivals as you're grinding the gameplay, moving up, getting XP, getting those packs. Do you value that more or do you value your coins a bit more? It's just kind of a decision you have to make and it's completely up to you. But hopefully I explained that pretty well because there's a lot in there and hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. Now I will say as well, today's content on Tuesday is it going to be another day where we have SBCs that aren't that attractive or fun or exciting and it's going to be another L day of content and then prices are maybe going to dip and then go back up afterwards? There could be some sort of movements on the market like that today. Also, could EA actually go crazy today and drop another player SBC? I hope we get another player of the month. If they drop the player of the month, Madison, like we said in yesterday's video, Give us the player of the month, Jude Bellingham. That would shake up the market a little bit. That would be an SBC, although it would probably only be a plus one. I mean, James Madison got a decent upgrade over his uh, base gold card. I think he had a plus two, right? He's an 86. But um, Jude Bellingham, I would have to imagine, I would hope they would give him an 88, but it would probably just be an 87 because, you know, I'm sure EA has grand plans of giving Jude a inform or, you know, whatever it may be, special promo cards here pretty soon because that's a pack seller for sure for them. But if they're going to give us a player of the month, Jude Bellingham, I hope it is halfway decent value. Last year, we had a Fede Valverde for La Liga. We mentioned this as well already, but that card was crazy, man. And so many people did it and it rocked. The market it actually made the market go bananas when that was uh released so that's a potential another player sbc today uh could be in the works but other than that i have no idea it could be another pack sbc as well we haven't had one of those like yesterday was a really really quiet day we'll see what they had go ahead and do one other thing i do want to point out really quick to you guys is ea is tweeting um about some of their first issues and there were two tweets yesterday the first one this is actually really interesting we are investigating an issue impacting Ada Hegerberg player item. Players who have this item in their active squad will not be able to start a match until the item is removed. And I had no idea there was a problem with her item in game. And some of you guys were mentioning that this player in game, Hegerberg, she would like, instead of running towards the ball, and you know how players kind of like lock onto the ball when the pass is made to them, it's like she would intentionally run around and away from the ball. And I wonder if that was affecting her price, guys, because her price barely went up at all. Um, and I know she's not the most meta appearing card. She has great positioning and finishing and really good like reactions and stuff like that. But she's definitely more of a physical type striker with 92 heading accuracy. Not the most meta for dribbling, which a lot of people are looking for in this game. Um, but evidently right now you can't use her in game. And there was a problem with her card, which is has to be one of the most crazy things I've ever seen EA tweet about. That was kind of a first where one individual player item has an issue and it's impacting that only that one player item in the game like that's yeah we've had individual player item issues before but from the way that i'm hearing about this it almost makes me want to try the card because it sounds uh so interesting now also content today and market movements to watch out for today really quickly just to end as once again twice in one youtube video my eafc has crashed and i'm reloading it again these menus i'm telling you man team of the week predictions Footbin put out Team League predictions yesterday, and as we talked about, some investing methods are taking place, and you're seeing a lot of prices move. This would be a banging Team of the Week. Harry Kane, Hyunmin Sun, Cancelo, Hakimi, Mitoma, Taliska, Moses, like, Simon, these are incredible Team of the Week cards. I hope this is the Team of the Week. Now, of course, it is a prediction, and we'll probably start to get some leaks maybe late today on Tuesday, probably tomorrow morning on Wednesday of who's going to be in the Team of the Week. But, of course, a lot of your prices on this market are up a lot as well. Hakimi wasn't up that much until he started to get into those Team of the Week predictions. He went from 79K all the way to 92,000 coins, and you're just seeing a lot of prices rising right now because of that so be careful with those again guys if you have any of them the safe route always is to sell 
into the hype, especially for a guy like Hakimi or Cancelo, which I feel like it's a bit more difficult for uh, in informs to be given to defenders. Um, Cancelo is like 52K and he was 29 on Saturday, right? So maybe you sell out on the hype with those unless you're really holding out for a potential inform and then the card price could go up a bit more. But that is what I would do with those cards in this game right now. And guys, continue to work the market. Market. If you missed yesterday's video, make sure you check it out. We looked at a bunch of trading methods that are very relevant for right now. One of them I mentioned in the video I'm doing right now. As you saw, I sold this uh, Kamavinga, right? For 10,750, 11,000 coins. I've sold three Kamavingas today for that price. But if you go and take a look at Kamavinga on the market, what is his actual price? It is not it is not 10 to 11,000 coins. It is 9K. Guys, the lazy selling, it works. You have to be there to release your cards every hour. But it is a really, really good method. And Kamavinga, I've had really good success with it on. So that's a tip for you if you want to try it. It's not really a trading method that a lot of people can like... Um, ruin either like you just you know buy one or two list them up for a couple hours like boom 8800 with a shadow i missed that one but that one probably would have sold pretty easily at 11,000 coins over a couple hours of relisting because of the chem style that was on it so make sure you check out that video if you did not but hopefully today ea have something planned for us right drop us another player spc ea you've been kind with the requirements for the most part so far during early access do it again that's what I'm asking for today. If you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account. See you guys in a Twitch stream today. Links in the bio if you want to check us out there. Peace. Out.